Since October 7th, when Hamas invaded Israel and the massacre took place, hostages were taken. We have shared with you horrific stories of heartbreak and sadness, but there is some good happening in the midst of all of this evil. One photographer is getting a unique look inside at the Israel Israeli Defense Forces. He was given access to some of the bases, and he's documenting hundreds of photographs of active reservists and soldiers, and now sharing them as part of a book called The Smiling Soldiers Project. It shows what life is like in the IDF, and there are some familiar faces that he's also captured. One man using his camera, hoping to show a different side of war. His name is Manhattan, Minana, Mi, Menachem, Gasinski, I'm so sorry about that. Um, Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, but it is wonderful to talk to you, and it puts a smile on me, my face to hear about the Smiling Soldiers Project. Why did you want to do this? And, and I want to start with something that you said, smiles are windows to our soul. Uh, thank you for so much for having me. Um, yes, I believe that you could see the humanity of an individual through their smile. Um, the project began when I was uh, I was hanging out in Jerusalem, and my interactions with these soldiers uh, in the Shuk, which is the marketplace in Jerusalem, was so different than what I was seeing in the algorithm online. Um, on Twitter, on Instagram, I was seeing these really uh, nasty photos of the soldiers, and based on my interactions with them, they were the kindest people, the sweetest people, and I wanted people to see that. So uh, I would start to take these pictures of these uh, beautiful, smiling soldiers. And uh, yeah, that's basically how we got our start. And Menachem, when you're capturing these images, what is the interaction between the soldiers that's bringing a smile to their face, given the fact that they are facing so much violence and evil? Uh, well, we have a couple of, uh, we get the guys together and I tell them, listen, we have this project and I think it's important that people see your smile and I think it's important that you yourself get a smile. I'm gonna have your friends over here. I'm, I have them make fun of them. I have them make some jokes. And uh, through that, we get these beautiful real life smiles. We get the moment that they burst out laughing. And I think that that's really, uh, I, I think those, that specific moment that when you go from a serious face to a smile, there's nothing more beautiful in the world than that exact moment. Yeah, no, I love it. And you've got them doing things um, that you wouldn't necessarily think they'd be doing, like playing the guitar or they're on a skateboard, right? There are moments of pause, um, even in this war. Absolutely. And I think that people don't realize that these are real individuals with real li with, with lives, with families, with hobbies, with skills. Um, I was on a base where you had, again, I think with the, the skateboard, uh, you have these incredibly talented photographers, musicians, um, and I think it's beautiful that people just continue to live their lives just, they, you know, in the army. Unfortunately, this is a reality we live in right now where people have to fight to protect their families, protect their homes. And um, even in these dark moments, they try to find these, these moments of happiness that they can um, create and manifest into these just beautiful moments that um, in, in such a unique time when they're with their friends, they're in this dark environment. Um, yet I believe that they understand that uh, just with a smile can you continue. One of the soldiers who I photographed who unfortunately was killed um, on, on October 7th, there was a motto that he used to live by, which was uh, smile because smile is happiness and happiness is the uh, power and the, the strength to, to, to continue. Especially in a dark time like this, we need to keep our smiles and our, and our, uh, and our attitude up and high. And uh, only through that can we really persevere. Yeah, what an important message. You know what also stands out to me with these images and the video, how young some of these soldiers are. Absolutely. Um, the IDF uh, and Israel in general has a mandatory draft uh, that requires 18 year olds, literally people right out of high school, you know, would be freshmen in college, they would go on spring break. Instead, they spend, they spend almost three years of their lives um, in their prime, so to speak, when they could be having a blast, just like everyone else in, in all these teenagers and young adults in America are, are having a, a great time. Here they are, they're spending time in tents and in training. Um, and it's, it's really, I think people don't realize the sacrifices that these people are making just because they need to keep their family safe. It's, a, it's, it's their duty. No one complains about it. Everyone understands this is what you gotta do. Um, the war has added an interesting wrinkle because of these reservists that usually, um, usually the soldiers are in between, let's say 18 and 22. 
But now, because of the war, all these reservists have been called up, and it just adds such an interesting wrinkle finding these people who are our parents, doctors, lawyers, everything. They're you know 35 years old. They show up to base. They just got off of work, and it's such an interesting wrinkle that we haven't seen in, in this project before the war. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.